drilling it uh, into the players how important it is um, to be a good defensive pressing team. Um, anybody, there's a, there's a lot of teams that uh, that can practice. They practice, uh, you know, half speed, or they they don't go as hard as they can. They don't practice fast, and they try to play fast, um, and they give up a lot of points doing that. There's uh, some teams, um, you know, what we try to do is we try to practice as fast as we can. Um, if you practice as hard as you can, as fast as you can in a game, you can always pull it back a little bit. But you can never practice slow or practice 75% speed and then in a game try to speed it up. Um, that's just, it'll create a lot of problems for you. Um, you won't get, you won't get uh, anything accomplished that you're trying to get accomplished. So. Uh, we, we really emphasize pra practicing fast, practicing hard, um, and, and we'll show you some drills that we do here. Um, you know, we may not go necessarily as fast as we would in practice just because, uh, you know, these guys haven't had a chance to really get loose and, and go through a, a regular practice like they would. Um, but, but we'll give you an idea of some of the drills we do. Uh, but we talked about getting the guys um, playing ear to chest uh, right here and forcing them to the wings. So something we'll do, a drill that we'll do a lot just to work on that is this one right here. Okay, we'll get a coach or a manager taking the ball out of bounds. We'll get uh, two guys on the wings, or on the elbows rather. Get two guys on the elbows. So let's get um, Keegan and Tez on defense. Bryce and Tay on offense. We'll go ear to chest, okay. And what we'll do from here, coach or manager will take it out. We're just going to force, we're going to force them uh, to the wings. We can't throw it long right now because we don't have any help over the top. So uh, the coach can only pass it one way or the other. This is also good for your offensive players. It's teaching them how to get open as well. Um, so this is a good drill to work on getting open against presses and a good drill to work on uh, denying the inbounds pass. We always tell our defensive players to force the ball to the corner. But we also tell our offensive player to make sure he does not catch it this low. Okay, so it's a good drill to work both ways. Uh, get air to chest, deny air to chest, yet to get open. And then from there, the two defensive players are in a tandem from there, okay? They're in a tandem. So you can try to go either way. You try to keep them in front, keep, uh, Tess, keep them in front, keep them in front, keep them in front. Now say you do go this way. Say you do bring it this way. Bring the ball this way. Dribble, 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 dribble. You can come and, come and switch off. Switch off. Boom. Yeah. And that's it. Speed it up a little bit. Run a little bit more fast pace. Let's go. Get open. Now, that, that, doesn't, that doesn't have to happen right then and there. It's only if he's beat. Okay, only if he's beat will you go and help. All right, not it's not an automatic, it's not an automatic move. So go ahead, go ahead and do it again. This time, just for the sake of showing it, uh, Tez, let yourself get beat. Okay. Now remember, remember here, uh, guys guarding the ball. We want those arms up in the passing lane. All right, down in a stance, ear to chest, denying the ball. Okay, arms up in the passing lane. Here we go. All right, so Tez, you get Tez, you get beat. There you go. He's sprinting back, taking his man. Good. All right, now stop right there. Something, a very, very good point. Keegan, go back. Something that that Keegan did very, very good. Um, that we talked about. Once the press gets beat, what we have to do? Tez, take the ball. Okay. Something Keegan did very, very good. As soon as the ball was passed ahead, he sprinted back as fast as he could, and got level of the ball. All right. So that way, if he wants to drive or penetrate, we've got help there now. He did a very good job. It's very important that you teach that. Teams that don't do that give up a lot of points. Teams that do do that will get, to the, will get steals, get extra possessions. They'll stop the offensive team. So go ahead and let's do it one more time from the top. Something else we'll do with this um, is we'll get a shot clock out. We'll put five seconds up um, just to see if they can deny the inbounds pass for five seconds uh, to get our guys working. If they do deny it for five seconds, um, then they're off, they're out of the drill, they get a point. Okay, you can add a point system to it. So let's go ahead here, go ahead, deny as hard as you can. So we go one Mississippi, two Mississippi, go ahead, three Mississippi, four, all right, and then we're right into the drill. And Tez has to sprint back level of the ball, very good job. Okay, he's keeping his man in front, good job there. 
Chesa still level of the ball. And did you see it right there how he jabbed at him and he got back? He did a good job of jabbing to hold him up and getting back to his man. That was a very good job there. All right, go back one more time. We can practice it different ways. You can add more stuff to it. Some teams in this situation will cross screen. They'll cross screen and seal. So right here, um, if we're in our man-to-man, -man, depending, again, on the scout or who it may be, if we've got two guards up front, which will most likely be the case, we can switch this. If they put a big man here and we've got a big man here, then we might not switch it. But in this case right here, we'll switch, and then we're still right in the same drill. Let's go. Switch it, switch it, switch it. Boom, he got it. Stay in front. Stay in front. Come on. Get level with the ball. Level. Jab. That's it. That's it. Something else we'll do off of it. Uh, Tez, take the ball. Joe, guard Bryce. Uh, we'll work on our white press out of this. This is another, another good drill to do. So again, ear to chest. Ear to chest. Force him to the sidelines. We're going to pass it in. Go ahead. Go and trap Tez. Keegan, come up. All right, now, just for the sake of this drill, for the sake of this drill, since we're at a disadvantage here and there's, again, no help over the top, uh, we, cannot, we can't throw this pass going this way. He can throw it level. You can throw it to the level of him, okay? You know what I'm saying? The level of the ball. And then we can retreat, but you can't throw it ahead. All right, so go ahead from there. And then, again, we're right, in, we're right back to our man-to-man -man, uh, principles from there. So we're just working on this initial trap right now. Go ahead. Get back, get back, get back. And then we're sprinting back. Our guys are level of the ball right now. Go ahead. Okay. Freeze, freeze, freeze. Uh, okay, go back, go back. I want to show what happens. I want to show what happens when the guy guarding the ball gets beat. Okay, throw it in. Okay, Keegan's going to trap. Throw it over the top. Okay, now we're sprinting level of the ball. Okay, now say Keegan gets beat sideline. He can get to beat. Tez, you got to take him. Say, I got him, I got him. Joe, you're rotating back. Keegan's telling you to come on back, and Keegan's taking your man. Okay? See, again, we're on a string. Because he got beat, Tez has to get over. Joe has to rotate back. And, and Keegan is rotating over to take away the reverse pass. Okay, so that's, uh, that's different things we can do off of that drill there that, uh, that work very well. Now, staying with our 22, we were working on keeping the guys in front of us. Now we'll take that, defense, that defender off the ball, put him at half court. This is working on getting the sideline trap. So the same thing, ear to chest, come on. Ear to chest, get up on him. Guard him, ear to chest. Boom. Now you're giving him sideline. You're forcing him sideline. Sideline goes. Take off. Take off. Take off. Take off. You're jabbing. Then as soon as he gets to that corner, trap. Okay. Now he's trapping. This guy's rotating over and taking this pass away. Uh, go ahead, back to it. Um, the way we'll do this uh, is we'll have another group over here, usually ready to go. Um, this guy in white, the offensive player, uh, he can go to the middle, but he can't go any farther than uh, up the middle of the court. So he can't, obviously we're just working on this side of the trap. He can't drive all the way over here. That'd make the drill pointless to do. So we got to keep, so the guy offensively just has to stay on his side of the court and, and work over here. So. We'll pick up the speed a little bit, and then uh, it go from there. All right, bring it back, bring it back, good. That's a good job. Uh, pick it up just a little bit more. Uh, Daniel, you can go ahead and pass the ball. If he steals it, that's fine. We want, we do this too to have our big working on getting deflections, getting steals, or, or knocking it out of bounds. Go ahead. Good, okay, now go right back here, give Daniel the ball. Something we have to understand with the press, too, is we have to understand angles. Um, where, where the press will try to beat us at and, uh, and what may work for them is uh, if, if Daniel's going up here, if he sees a chance to get middle, he's going to go middle, okay? If our, if our sideline player, Tez right here, number one, if he's too far over to the sideline, then that's going to give that middle up. Uh, come back over here. Okay, uh, go back, Daniel, a little bit. Joe, go back. Okay, so say Joe doesn't get uh, a good pressure started off on him. Say the press, come back this way. Say the press is, uh, is kind of towards the middle of the court more. Then, again, being on a string, Tez have, has to understand that he has to help this way. So 
Go ahead, we force him up. He still has to take an angle, okay, and go trap there that way. Right, okay. If he gets going too much to where he's on that side of the court, um, and that gives the middle up. That's the last place we want the ball um, in our, against our 22 press. So go, go ahead again and shot a couple more times. Good, perfect. Another drill that we'll do to work on uh, this necessarily, this isn't so much to work on our trap as much as it is uh, to work on our middle guy being active and making a good decision. So what we'll do is, uh, Tez, you're going to start off right in the middle of the court, okay? Uh, Joe, Keegan, you all are going to start off on the elbows. You're going to start off just right underneath the rim. Facing. Hmm? Still facing, facing this way. Okay, this is, this is working on uh, a couple different things. One, defensively, it's working on our guys. They're going to come up and trap. So when I pass the ball in, when I pass the ball in, they're going to go trap the ball. Okay, so go ahead, trap the ball. You cannot move, okay? You, or you can do this different ways. He cannot move or you can let him have one dribble, one or the other. Okay, now, so that's working on our trap. Two, it's working on this player here uh, offensively handling the trap. So it's a good offensive drill too. And the other thing it's working on, most importantly, what we're trying to get out of this, is putting our middleman here. He has to read the ball handler's eyes, all right, and try to get to one pass or the other and get a steal. So you can throw it to one place or the other, and all it's working on most, or what it's working on mostly, is the anticipation of our of our middle guy trying to get a steal. Okay, so right here. Uh, yeah, the wing guys, you cannot move. Okay, you have to stay stationary. Okay, so are we ready? Okay, again, sorry, again, keys to trapping. Keys when we go to trap, we have to have active hands. We have to be up wide. If Joe runs at this guy with his hands low. He'll just throw a pass right over top of his head. All right, if Joe runs at the guy with his hands high, feet and uh, butt low, feet wide, it makes a much harder passing lane for him to get the ball out. Ready? Good. All right, and then we'll, and then we'll score. We can do uh, go score it from there, and then we'll get right back into it. So this next time you get it, throw it ahead. Remember, we want to finish every single drill with a score. All right, now that's point, point white team, point white team. Another thing we can work on with it too that we need to emphasize is as soon as the ball leaves his hands, as soon as the ball leaves his hands, uh, this makes a huge difference. Are our guys going to turn and watch it and then take off sprinting towards it? Or are they going to, as soon as it leaves his hands, they're taking off and they're sprinting and trying to beat their guy back? All right, it's a little thing like that that makes a huge difference whether we're going to be a good defensive team or a great defensive team. So we have to, as soon as it leaves his hands, take off sprinting to where the ball is. Don't turn and watch, react to it. Take, turn off, turn around and go after the ball. Uh, yeah, one more time. Hands high, hands high, hands high. And then we score it from there. Good, right back in it, right back in it. Here we go, here we go. Hands high, hands high, hands high, hands high, go! Good job, go, score it, score it, score it, score it, score it. Okay, retreat, right back in it, right back in it. Get your hands high, get your hands high, hands high. That's a steal. Okay, point white, point white. All right, the other thing too that we're working on is say Tez gets a steal and he goes and scores it. Go ahead, he goes and scores it. Just like in a game situation, okay, ball goes in, we're not taking time to high five, hey, good job, way to go. We're focused right back on defense, right back in it, all right? And we can do it that way. But for right now, Tez, you would sprint back. Our two, our two guys up top, they would sprint back also. Okay, so we're working on scoring and getting right back into the mentality of we're going to play defense now. That, that possession's over. The next drill we're going to do is the, uh, called a back tip drill. Um, again, we talk about uh, when we get beat, um, you know, or the ball goes over our head. We have to retreat back. We have to retreat back as fast as we can uh, and make up for getting beat over, getting the ball thrown over our head and getting beat. Uh, the next drill we're going to do, we need uh, Daniel, come here. Stand at half court. This is called the back tip drill. Daniel, half court. Uh, Ted, right here. Okay, and Keegan, come right here. 
Okay, and this is a good conditioning drill to do too. We'll start here. Uh, we'll just have Daniel, he's facing forward, uh, dribbling the ball to his side. All right, we'll say go. And when we say go, Keegan's going to run up behind. He's going to get low. He's going to back tip it. Uh, and this guy's here to catch any, pa uh, any back tips, okay? And then after he back tips it, he's going to take off. He's going to sprint, touch the baseline. This is a couple times. Sprint, touch the baseline. And then he's going to take off running again, back tip it again, okay? So go ahead and start dribbling, face forward, okay? All right, go. Back tip. And then he's right back, touch the baseline. Dribbling again, back tip, good. Right back, touch the baseline. This will be the last time here. Run all the way through it and hit it. Don't, don't slow up when you get to the guy to try to tip it out. Run all the way through the ball, knock it out, and then we'll take off the other way. All right, another drill we'll do to work on uh, traps. And uh, this is good for, uh, for our offense, too. Our offense can work on this. Um, avoiding traps, okay? So what we'll do is we'll throw the ball in. You'll catch it. You'll square up. Square up. Face the, face the court. See the court, okay? Uh, Keegan, Tez, you all are trapping, okay? And now all your job is is you got as many dribbles as you want, okay? And you have to hold your dribble, and you can dribble back and forth, okay, for until coach or I say go, okay? And then once we say go, once we say go, then Tay, you have to come get the ball. You two are trapping right there. You two are trapping right there. Okay, and Tay, you can go sideline to sideline out of the trap, and we're working on keeping our hands up, following them, and setting the trap. And once we get it, all right, staying in the trap. One thing that is very key for the offensive player is once the trap comes and we say go, you have to tr get down a triple threat position, split it, pass through. Okay, work on splitting the trap. Let's go. Dribble. Dribble, go, keep going. Hands high, hands high, y'all, hands high, hands high, hands high. There we go, turnover, good. Point defense, here we go again, ready? Right back into it, right back into it, here we go. Hands, hands high, hands high, move, hands high. Go, pass it, go. go. And then right back to it, there we go. Dribble, you got dribbles, you got dribbles. Dribble out of it, we're still chasing, chasing. Right there, good, all right, good. Right back down here, right back down here. Daniel. Get down, split the trap. We gotta split it. Gotta split it. Let's go. Pick it up, pick it up. Turnover, there we go. Good, good. Trap it. Come on, keep your dribble. Hands keep high, your dribble. hands high, keep hands your high. dribble. Don't let him split. Good, good. Now, that's where we don't want to get beat at. That's a very good job there. All right, ball. Whenever we get trapped, whenever we get trapped, come trap me, okay? Offensively, offensively, we teach our guys a lot to whenever we get trapped, try to step through it, try to split the trap. If we can do that, we're at an advantage. These guys did a good job here of not letting him split it. He's trying to dribble through it. They did a good job of staying together, keeping their feet together, keeping their arms high, and staying wide. It was a very good job. Okay, another, another drill we'd have to work on traps. Okay, this is just working on close area trapping. Uh, um, again, uh, a lot of what you do defensively will help your offense out too. Go ahead right here, Parker, and Tay. Okay, so what we'll do here is our guys have to talk. Okay, I'll throw the ball in to any one of these guys. One of them has to go trap. The other guy has to play in between. So what we're doing right here is we'll throw it in. I'll throw it into Keegan. Okay, Daniel, you have to go trap. Tay, you're playing in between. Okay, Keegan, you don't have any dribbles. You can ball fake. You can do whatever you have to to get out of it. You two guys are low, feet together, feet together, arms wide, and you're making your your uh, pass from there. Okay, you're still playing in between. Okay, so go ahead. Now, right here, hold up, scoot in, not that far out. Okay, now right here because Keegan, go back and trap. Go back and trap. Okay. Now this is an automatic reaction. Because Keegan threw it this way, okay, our next closest player to trap with would be Daniel. And then Parker's playing in between. Okay, now say Tez throws it out that way to Bryce. 
Here's our closest player there. Tay, you're going to trap. And then you're right here in the middle. Okay, so let's run through that. Let's run through that. So I'll call out the trapper here. We'll say, uh, Daniel, you're the trapper, okay? Here we go. Good, we can make a pass there. Go trap it, play in between, hands up, hands up. Go get it, trap it, play in between. Go let him split it. Try to split it if you can, offensive player. Try to split it, we can't let that happen. Get there sooner, get there sooner. Come together on the trap. Good, that's a deflection, good. All right, again, again, we talk about this and we'll say it again and again, come trap him, okay? We need these guys to come together on this trap. We cannot let him split it, okay? We cannot let that split occur. Uh, next drill we do, this is just a simple drill, but uh, it accomplishes a lot. It's a simple drill. Um, go ahead, start on key. Uh, face guard, I mean. Face guard. Yep. Uh, we're totally denying him in. This is working on our, our face uh, press. Totally denying in. Um, I'm not going to throw it over the top. I can't. We don't have any backside help. So what we're doing here is Keegan's working to get open. Tez in the white. He's face guarding. He's, he's trying to keep him from getting open. Once Keegan gets the ball, uh, then we're just playing full court one-on-one -on -one from there. All right, so uh, it's working, on again, on our offensive skills. Um, it's working defensively, full court one-on-one, -on -one, and then uh, and we'll progress from there. We'll show you. Okay, go ahead. All right, and that was that was uh, good defense to about this point right here by Tez. All right, so then we'll rotate, switch it around. Keegan will be on defense, Tez on offense. Uh, something to point out right uh, down there. Uh, Tez did a good job of forcing Keegan. If you notice where Keegan caught it, he was in the corner uh, all the way down here. So he still he did a very good job of forcing him to where we want him to catch the ball at. All right, so same thing right here. Let's go. All right, uh, again, come back here, guys. Come back real quick. Uh, something else that this drill really works on well. Uh, Keegan did a good job there of. Uh, Tez, start with the ball. Uh, Keegan got beat a couple times. Keegan got beat a couple times, but um, he did not allow that uh, to, to affect his defense. What he did is Tez beat him the first time going this way. Keegan sprinted back to the spot, didn't ride his hip, and got right back in front of him. All right, and did it again. Tez beat him again going this way. Keegan got back, beat him to the spot, and got right back in front of him. So this is a great drill for working on that. Uh, we talk about our, our one defense, um, our one up defense. Anytime we get beat, we want to try to get back and beat him to the spot. Even on our white, if our guy beats a sideline, uh, we get, uh, get beat. We beat him to the spot, force him back middle to the trap. Now, uh, what we're going to do here, uh, Tez start on defense. Uh, Joe, take it out of bounds. Take it out of bounds. And uh, Tay, you start off on Joe. Start off on Joe. Okay, now, um, again, this is just like a lot of the other drills we do. We're working on going two on two full court, uh, working on denying. But the only difference is, is now we're not going to stop. We don't have a coach throwing it in. The point of this drill is, is as soon as the other team scores on the other end, all right, as soon as the other team scores, then red, you're in defense, all right, so whoever's guarding the man out of bounds, you're active, hands all over him. Whoever's guarding the man trying to get open, we're face guarding. Okay, I'm working on denying him the pass. But the emphasis of it is, is getting into it quickly. Okay, not relaxing after you score, but getting into your defense quickly. So let's go ahead, go down the other end just for the sake of the drill right now. White, let him score. Okay, and then, uh, and then red, you're going to get right back in your defense quickly. Okay, let's go ahead. Okay, and Tay, Tay needs to see the man and the ball, man and the ball, all right? You can jab at him if he wants to, to slow him up. You can jab at him. It's good, okay, right in it, right in it, right in it. Quick, quick, quick. Good job, right back at it, right back at him. Score it again, score it again, right back in it. Right back in it, here we go, right back in it. Let's go, talk, good talk, good job. Good job, Keegan's gotta get level of the ball. There we go, Joe's back level of the ball. Good job. Let's play it straight up from here. Right in it. Right in it. White. Right in it. White. Right in it. White. All right. Stop. Stop. Right there. We'd have White on the uh, on the line running. All right. Because they did not get in it right away. Tess scored it. He turned around and looked. He was happy. He had two points. But what he didn't realize, he's just getting ready to give up two at the other end. 
All right. So let's go through it one more time. Again, we have to be right in the press. As soon as you score, we're not watching it go through the net. As soon as we see it going in, we're right into our press defense. Tay, if you're closer to the ball, go ahead and take the guy out of bounds. Tell Tez to take Keegan or whoever else it may be. All right, we got to get in it quick. Here we go. Go ahead, jab Adam Tay, jab Adam Tay. There we go, good, good. Right back the other way, right back the other way, good. Full court pressure. Pick him up all the way, Joe. Let him score. All right, right in it, right in it. Let him score, right in it. Get in it quick, get in it quick. Get in it quick, there we go. Steal, right back at him, right back at him. Good, right back in it, right back in it, in it quick. Let's go, hands up all over him, Tay. All over him, Tay, stop, stop. Again, we have White on the, tee, on the line running again. Tay, you can't run up with your hands low. All right, hands have to be up all over him. That's too easy of a pass for him to get it in. That's how we really get runs going. That's how, that's how we open up a lot of big leads is by getting the steals, laying it in, and right back into, another press, and right back into the press again uh, and not relax. Then it, the team on offense just feels like, man, they keep coming at us. They keep coming at us. We can't relax. We can't take it. We just can't catch a break. All right, here we go. Tay's level of the ball. He can jab at him. Tay can jab at him to slow him down if he needs to. Okay, right in it. Right in it, red. Right in it, red. Let's go. I got you. I got you. Okay, Joe needs to see man and ball. Be ready to help. Good job, Keegan, beating him to the spot. Good job. Go ahead, attack him. Attack him, beat him. Beat him, let him score for the sake of the drill. Let him score right now. All right, right in it, White, right in it, White. Let's go, right in it. Good job, way to talk, way to talk, way to force some corner. Good job, good job. Jab at him if you need a help. Jab at him if you need a help. Good, that's, that's fine, that's fine. Let's go, let's go, right in it, right in it, right in it. Come on, we gotta get up quicker, gotta get there quicker. All right, good, good. And that's, and that's the point of that drill, is it's, it's a good conditioning drill. It's just constant. We're right. We're jumping right back into the press. There's no relaxing on it, um, and it really uh, uh, ingrains that in their mind that they have to uh, have to keep going. There's there's no relaxing, and uh, it's a, it's a hard thing to teach. It's a hard thing to get players to do, because uh, obviously you're going as hard as you can. You wanna you wanna take it easy, but uh, you know we don't allow we don't allow that here at IUS. We want uh, c constant constant ball pressure, constant pressing. Uh, we never want to let the other team be comfortable.